Hello everybody, welcome back to Pez Plays. We're here with Ty, we got our flame rings. We're gonna go to uh, the next level area. Which we needed our flame rings, which we got last time, uh, to access. So we go got this place, which is like a giant snake head or something. Yeah, it's so weird. Alright, so here we go, right down here. Oh, it's so cool! And still, we leave all the paw, print, paw prints everywhere. And somehow there's ice here, but that's no problem because we got flame rings, which can break ice. And, oh, what? Who's the, whoa, he has a boomerang. Who is this? Mm, he's smarter than I thought. Mm. He had a boomerang too. But does he have? A rainbow scale? Probably does, actually. They're, like, littered everywhere around here. Alright, so, bridge on the river to uh, Outback Safari and Snow Worries. I think we will start on bridge on the river. You have done well, my friend. The information you supplied is invaluable. So someone thinks they can stop me obtaining all the talismans! Of course he will never succeed! I want this meddling mammal stopped at any cost! Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Those talismans are as good as mine. Begin phase two! <laughs> Alright, now that we're actually making progress, Boss Cass is getting stressed out. There's nothing quite like a moonlit billabong. Except <laughs> maybe a moonlit billabong full of giant roaches, spiders, and... Uh... Bats. Yeah... <laughs> yeah... Yeah... Stick the landing. Alright. Ah, oh, this level, I love it. Also, we set boxes on fire. Oh man, here we go, we got the, uh, these opals. Oh man. This music and the level. Oh, look at this sky! Oh my gosh. This level is so beautiful. All the levels are just... Oh my gosh, I can't contain it. It's just too good. This is the home of me old mate, Dennis the Cheapskate. The, well, <coughs> sorry, Dennis, uh, uh, I mean Green Tree Frog. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah, he has a bunch of thunder eggs. So yeah. These are new guy. I don't know what these are. They're some sort of lizard. Yeah, you can only really kill them by biting them. And so onwards. This level's just oh my gosh. It's like the first night level. It is, yeah. And uh it's just oh my gosh. The thing is that this level is also one of the most like stressful for me. Like, I'm probably not going to finish most of the things in this the first time around. And I probably won't unless you guys want me to like 100% the game. Other than that, I'm probably going to skip a lot of the thunder eggs in this freaking level. Because they're uh, spiders. They don't like the spiders. But they don't like the flame ring, so... But, uh, yeah, this level, there's a lot of stuff in here that gets kind of, like, difficult for me to do. And, like, I still haven't figured out how to do a lot of the stuff. I have 100% of the game before, but eh, I still have trouble with this level for some reason. How do I get up? I forgot how I get up there. Oh, no, I don't. I remember. All these opals. Even the opals are, like, really tedious to get all 300 of, because they're, like... Because this level is huge compared to the last few we've done. It might even be the biggest. I don't know. There's a lot to it. Awesome. Let's grab the cog right here. In this new level area, we should be getting, like, the last few cogs real fast. 
not the last few, but the ones we need for the next Techno Ring. I forget what the next one is, but it's... Mm, uh, I'm pretty sure the rest of them are, are much more useful than the Zoomerang. Pretty much any Rang is much more useful than the Zoomerang. Oh, jeez. Ugh, gross. Yeah, the spiders have that little, like... Whenever they walk, they have, like, little bongo drums playing. Fresh Bilby. Awesome. I don't remember if the Bilbies are that hard to find in this level. I'm not sure. Also, uh... Just like the Wallabies, we got these guys now. Oh, man, I don't really know what they are. They're, like, some sort of crane thing. I don't know. Australian animals are awesome. Is there anything under this waterfall? They like hiding things behind waterfalls. Oh, hello. Get out of here. Music. Oh, spider. Oh, wow. That was good. Hey, listen to a mock. I don't know if you can hear it, but there's like little bongo drums playing whenever he takes a step. And we're already about to get uh, a third of the opals. Only six more cogs, too. I don't think the cogs are that hard to get in this level, but... And the opals aren't like hard to find, they're just like scattered everywhere. And again, this is a pretty big level, so it takes a while to find them all. Another Bilby! So we oh, shoot, don't fall down. There we go. Dance. I sparkle like you do! Your sparkles are more fabulous. Whatever. For some reason, this jump always gave me trouble as a kid. I don't know why. Maybe that's why! What even? <laughs> hmm. Alright, also notice how, like... The moths all gather around the fire. This game has a lot to it that's just contributes to its amazingness. Maybe you guys are loving this game as much as I am, but oh come on, you gotta be kidding me. It's just, ah oh, man, it's one of the most brilliant games I've ever played. Alright, come on. There we go. See, that wasn't too hard, was it? It was, though. Yes, magnet. That'll be handy. There are a lot of boxes down here, I think. They have the cockroaches. We gotta bite them. Okay, get rid of you. Alright, there's Danis. Let's talk to him. Let's see if we can get him to give us his opals. Uh... Yeah, chill out, bro. Moy's <laughs> friend. I'm so glad to see you. The local bully, Neddy, has extinguished Neddy. all the lights to show my way home. And now I don't know where to go. It's not that I'm. It's here not really that anything, dark. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Why is he so huge when, like, other frogs are, like. Yes, uh, what a. Um. Kindly escort me home. No worries. Uh, do we get thunder eggs out of it, possibly, maybe? Also, there's no real, like, end to this level. Like, you can tell, like, the opal machine here is just, like, there. So we kind of, like, uh... We get Dennis back home, we get to light all these fires here. And they go out after a while, so we gotta, like, wait on him. And he takes... forever. The enemies don't hurt him, so you don't gotta worry about that. Still, he takes forever. Oh, come on. There we go. Alright, you here, Dennis? Awesome. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. He said... Are all the bugs just, like, random instruments like that? Hmm. Oh, there's a cock right underneath the bridge. Might go for that now. Awesome. There we go. 
How is he carrying all this stuff? Then again, how are they making rainbow portals to these random places? Oh, 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 oh. Get out of here. There aren't any, like, really challenging enemies in this game until you get to the bosses, and even they aren't, like, the most difficult to do. It's mainly just, like, platforming everywhere. I don't know, it's fun. So I like it. Come on, Dennis. Bats are annoying, however. No, they're not that much of a nu nuisance, but... Come on, gotcha. And just in walk in the park, park we were saving all the bats. Alright, I think once we get Dennis back to his house, I'll end the episode. After we maybe get the thunder eggs from him. See, so yeah, just about here. There we go. We made it. Alright, here's Dennis's home. See, so he gets here. Isn't this nice? Little tree here. You know how solid lily pads as a bridge would be, but then again, he's a frog. I don't think that works. Because he's like a freaking massive frog. I don't know. Whatever. I made it thanks to you. Nope, never heard of it. Oh, hello. Why, thank you. I really like the blue ones. They're very pretty. Alright, so now that we're back here, and this was out. Why are you still here? But yeah, now that we've gotten Dennis back here and all, uh, yeah. We'll continue next time on Best Plays. Help Dennis out, get all these thunder eggs, all this wonderful shizzle. Yeah. Alright, see you guys next time.